Hi and welcome to the channel where I, Janad, share all my internalized philosophical thought and spiritual insight for you to view over and over and over again until you understand that this human experience is not what it was conditioned to be as. Now, furthermore, we just entered a universal six year and six in numerology represents anything that ought to be of permanence, anything that ought to be domesticated, anything that ought to be solidified, fortified position in our life. And that is community, responsibility, family, marriage, romance, Anything that really gives you that 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 feeling of um, uh, that feeling of uh, stability. So that is the universal six year, and 2022 to 2024 are quantum leap years where we will go through erratic changes, where we decipher whether we are to be assimilated into society or whether we are to be without societal beliefs and values whether we are to fortify and construct our own path or to follow those of our predecessors now this pick a card reading is primarily targeted towards that and um now i will show you the cards and whichever resonates with you is the changes that you are to experience moving forward now for a few moments i will give you simply to use your intuition wisely to pick the card that resonates most deeply with you i will give you about a few more seconds just to breathe in deeply inhale exhale now the crystals from left to right is shatterkite blue chalcedony and red jasper so Card one, two, and three, whichever resonates with you, pick it and choose the timestamp below. Now, for those of you who picked group number one, let's see what this simply reveals for you. Now, this is obviously six of cups, which reveals uh, things that you've been recently conjuring up in your mind regarding nostalgia and this nostalgia or these memories have been surfacing somehow through groups of association through revisiting the past through seeing this person through mutual or shared activities um, either where they are seen physically or where this reminds you particularly of them now this is definitely someone returning into your life trying to offer you something but you feel like it has served its purpose let's see what else this reveals what else does this reveal for group number one Okay, this reveals that, you know, you've obviously overcome all the past issues and trauma that this has caused you, this person being in your life and all the experiences they brought. And now you've obviously feel like you've healed and overcame all of this. And now the... Let's give us one more card for clarity for this group. Now, the cards reveal that this is not necessarily a happy ending and it indicates that the cycle may repeat itself and will not bring any more fruitful outcomes than it already has. So this is obviously a sign for you to build something new something fresh this is something that definitely cannot help you on your journey and your life path in 2022 so the best advice is for you to move on alternatively repeat all cycles now for those of you who chose blue chalcedony let's see what the most dominant theme for you is right now 
the most dominant theme is overcoming uh, self-induced isolation and uh, reintegrating with society, humanity, building connections and relationships that are actually meaningful again. So this is you uh, reintegrating yourself into things that once interested in interested you in some way and seeing if this resonates with your journey in the future now let's see whether these things resonate with someone who's been isolating themselves and keeping themselves from the world let's see which journey resonates most deeply Which resonates with people with scripture. Hmm, group two. You feel like uh, the self induced isolation is something that you simply. It seems like you want to really break out, but you have certain thoughts that are extremely intrusive preventing you from actually doing so completely one more card came up for this group hmm this relates to a burden something that uh, you're trying to alleviate yourself from but certain things are really preventing you from moving forward now and um this journey that you've been or this path that you've been traversing along is um something that you need to Now, it really is important to understand that you don't really have to do all of this alone and there are people who love and care about you. That is the message that I'm getting here. Uh, and you should always ask for help for those around you because no man is an island and you are here to complete your journey on earth with the help and assistance of those around you who care and who love you even if you perceive that people don't love and care about you and everyone is very self-invested that is not the case we are here on the planet simply to help and assist those even whom we might not think is as important to us now human nature is obviously not as harsh as you think it is and this group is rather cynical and sadistic so i think the best thing to do is to understand that there are people out there if you just reach out to them they'll always be of assistance to you thank you now for those of you who chose red jasper let's see what the primary thing for you oh moving forward wow so those of you who chose red jasper is definitely exemplifying the traits of red jasper this is a crystal which obviously stimulates and protects from misfortune it indicates re really strong faith so this is someone who's really solidified and goal orientated this is someone who believes that uh, everything will go according to plan particularly with regards to Leo activities. Any other messages for group number three? This is a very positive. Any other messages for group number three? travel this could be pertaining to a career that exemplifies travel or even extension into other fields or you know etc etc which is in your current field any other news for group number three Pentacles, wow. 
Mm. So group number three, your hunch is right. Everything will go according to plan on this venture that you're learning along. along. You obviously have invested a lot of finances in this particular venture. And uh, someone of great uh, wealth and authority is here to help you on this journey. So this person is observing you from afar and um, they are simply going to invest in your vision your dream or your plan this could be someone slightly older than you someone who has more experience in the field that you're traversing in and um, this person is obviously clearly very established and watching you journey and proceed on the path that they've already taken and chosen and they're just here to provide their candor and uh, their support you know giving you advice maybe it could be perceived as a mentor even so this is a very positive group group number three i wish you nothing but luck on your journey in 2022 thank you so much for joining me for this pick a card reading moving forward there will be more in-depth pick a card readings and if it did not resonate with you please do not feel like you are you know ostracized um, but if it did, please understand that it was something that you were meant to hear so you can make better critical decisions moving forward because this needs to be a year where you actually harness and manifest the power that you need to. Thank you so much for joining me.